All right, we're live again, guys, and uh, this is the Kai Show, and uh, we are here to save the water. Um, we've got this um, heavy metal test here, um, just my car going back up to White Earth. For $199, you can test the water concentrations of heavy metals like arsenic and lead, um, and we've got uh, a treatment for that, um, heavy metal poisoning. It's an Ayurvedic ancient treatment of the... Turkish black tea, um, and, uh, the ghee, um, and, uh, what do you got here? Turmeric. <clears throat> so, turmeric and, uh, ghee and Turkish black tea, the three of these together are a really good way to get heavy metals out of your brain if you've been poisoned, um, with... Uh, heavy metals like mercury, um, arsenic, lead. So like the turmeric, I think it's like one one tablespoon of it or something with, in Turkish tea, like black tea with this ghee here. Um, that uh, will remedy water um, heavy metals which you can test with your kit from every well. So... Um, you can test if you have any problems in your water, if you're near a pipeline or if you've got mining occurring near to you with metals coming out, we have a treatment for that. And, uh, we're going to show how we're making America great again by, uh, getting the youth of America to become this next CEOs of our, uh, company, which is the water protector company. That's non-profit company for, um, saving the waters. So I'll show you my new pupil here. See, we're in the... Uh, Yana's house. <laughs> There's a church. Um, go! <laughs> and, uh... Alright. <laughs> it's your show now, bro. Live. You're live. How many viewers do I have? Three. <laughs> so. Thank you. I appreciate you taking your time to watch me pour juice. Have your head. <laughs> Who, who's watching? Like. <laughs> Look at our recruitment here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I don't know. What are they? I mean, it looks like technical readouts on photographs. They should like the color and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does this apply them? Basically, uh, it's the chemical sensors for heavy metals. Uh, that's the first wave um, of looking at the metals. Oh. So, like, the color, the, the, the yeah, color it's a lead strip is. from Walmart, basically. It's just the, an app that can look at the color, like a spectrum, a chemical spectrum. So. Yeah. That's how you make it. Next generation is next step is this heavy metal has this heavy metal thing like so that's gonna be what we're gonna I'm gonna feed you data and you're gonna make something. <laughs> like, well, some, some intelligent computer is gonna make. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Push the right button. So just give give a couple couple minutes breakdown of what we talked about the arsenic and how you want to like what's your dream dude like what do you want to do like Who save stays? the world. We'll go to do it like. Yeah, I don't know. I'll use you as a nice step knock point though. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do like. We can probably save the world though, right? What do you do with Musk? Like, how do you like Musk, Elon Musk? Elon Musk? He, he does the same thing. He just is like, I'm gonna do this thing. His BFR, the big Falcon rocket in the flight company. <laughs> yeah. You can go anywhere with that. You can fly from New York, what is it, like New York to Singapore in like 45 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Borders are gone. <laughs> All five people who are watching are now. Like, <laughs> Send your donations now. <laughs> Here's my PayPal account. <laughs> well, it's like a couple second version of how we're going to extort money. Sorry, make money. <laughs> Big, oil about Big oil, you know, what is this paper here? What, like, what is it saying? Like, how do we talk about this this thing right here? The, the oil oh, pipeline? Why? Um, I the water, know. well, when we talk about the water, you know, just like the water and metals and arsenic and, can you read it out loud, the abstract? Oh, the whole thing, yeah. 
Uh, monitored natural attenuation is widely applied as a remediation strategy at hydrocarbon spill sites. Sorry, I'm out of practice. Now. It's good. No, you're, good. You're, good. you're good. You're good. You're good. You're uh, good. Natural attenuation relies on biodegradation bio of hydrocarbons coupled with reduction of electron acceptors, including solid phase ferric iron, that's Fe3. I'm assuming I'm reading that right, because yeah. arsenic, hereby referred to as AS, absorbs to adsorbs to Fe hydroxides. A potential secondary effect of natural attenuation of hydrocarbons coupled with Fe3 reduction is a release of naturally occurring arsenic to groundwater. Um, and a crude oil contam contam there you go, contaminated aquifer near Bemidji, Minnesota, anaerobic biodegradation of hydrocarbons coupled to Fe3 reduction has been well documented. We collected ground, groundwater samples at the site annually from 2009 to 2013 to examine if arsenic is released to groundwater and, if so, to document the relationships between arsenic and... That's iron, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, Fe inside and outside of the dissolved hydrocarbon plume. Man, I haven't looked at freaking uh, <laughs> uh, elements, like the periodic table. Right. I haven't looked at those in a minute. It's, right. This is a trip. Arsenic concentration of groundwater in the plume root, uh, reach, oh man, that's micrograms, right? 230 micrograms a liter. Whereas, right, I, that's the upside down. Right, it. micro. Yeah. This groundwater, groundwater outside the plume contained less than five micrograms. That's a lot. How many? What? Five micrograms. A fuck ton. <laughs> Combined with previous data from the Bemidji site, uh, our results suggest that one naturally occurring arsenic is associated with iron hydroxide present in the glacially derived aquifer sediments. Two, introduction of hydrocarbons results in a reduction of iron hydroxides, releasing arsenic and iron to groundwater. At the leading edge of the plume, arsenic and iron are removed from the groundwater, retained on sediments, and downgrading from the. Excuse me, there's orange juice coming back. Plume patterns of arsenic and iron in groundwater are similar to background. We developed a conceptual model of secondary arsenic release due to natural attenuation of hydrocarbons that can be applied to other sites where an influx of biodegradable organic hydro organic carbon promotes iron reduction. So what does that mean, like in terms of if you drink that shit, what happens to you? Well, you got a lot of arsenic in you. Yeah, what does that do to you? Off the top of my head, I don't know. It's, it's definitely toxic. It's a neurotoxin. Isn't it, it fucks you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... Right. Yeah. So, like, you know, what do you, you can do SketchUp, right? You can like make models with Earth and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, well, how does it do that? Like, what do you do with that? I mean, you can. I mean, Google SketchUp is really like bare bones and more user friendly. It's not. Like Explain it. I mean, I want to hear it. Like, oh, your, okay. yeah. Uh, what, what have you done with it and stuff? And, um, basically, I started building houses and like stadiums and stuff. I wanted to be an architect when I was a kid. Nice. So, like, you can use those tools really simply. Just draw a couple rectangles, and then you have a, a frame. And you draw a shape on that frame and pull it up, and now you have a building with it distinct shape and you start from that like I, I build there's one I, it's funny um I misspelled production when I was like you know, <laughs> right. so it's like John like your production is misspelled that has all these old like um buildings and sure. different designs in there sure yeah I guess the thing is that you know the the sentiment I have right now is that basically you know like these these things like this you know and I gotta go I gotta drive up to the white earth but we're going to do some videos more like, I think that this kind of stuff, this kind of medicine, like Ayurveda, you know, pure ghee, turmeric, um, Turkish black tea, like this stuff, kind of like home remedies, like, you know, olive oil, like to make soap, kind of going back to the land, you know, like that's what Standing Rock is to me. Like it's about Facebook kind of like realizing that we actually need to go back to our old, I mean, this is actually really, you know, to me, like, the Quran, like I'd say that for me, like that's my tradition, you know, and like, what do you think about has happened like in this country of like, when people say, oh, this person is like a terrorist, you know, what does that mean? Like fucking like the whole media is like fucking like, oh, look, you know, like Arabic terrorism, you know, like I'm curious why you wanted to see that book, you know, like what? What do you think about the Quran? Like I what? I have a copy of the Bible with two translations it's side by side. Yeah. I'm more interested in the change over time and the effect it's had on humanity. Right. And I haven't had the opportunity yet to. Um, I guess that's not true. I've always had the opportunity to study the Quran, but I've never taken it. And I saw a Quran on the ground. And I decided to take that chance. To... <laughs> <laughs> 
And what is this book? <laughs> this is Faust in German? Yeah. I'll, I'll read, I'll, now I'll read some, uh, some... Oh, wow, these are poems, too. Like, yeah. actual verse. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Do it, yeah, do it, read it, read it. My German poetry. Read it, dude, read it. Um, fucking read it, bro. It's fucking German poetry. It's fucking Faust. Read that shit. <laughs> like, okay. Dude, it's going to be terrible. Do it! I don't fucking care. <laughs> like, Faust, um, your reader... Wiederstedt das tolle Sauberbeck wissen. Man, good thing Jan is not here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, wer sprichst du mir? Ich soll Jenison in diesem Wust von Rosser. Do you know what I'm reading? You speak German? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, in, yeah, very long ago. How many people are watching now? 50. We're adding? We're going up? Uh-huh. That's what's up. <laughs> hey. uh, contribute to my Patreon. Just kidding. Unschaft uh, die Pseudo. Pseudo. Oh, that's, that's an umlaut over, over and out. Pseudo Kokeri. Wold Dreisig Yaramir von Vila. That's a good question to end on. Mm hmm. Now let's do Al Fatiha. Oh wow! You know that one? It's yeah. in English. Go to chapter yeah. one, sort of one. Just the stop is the beginning. Yeah, just read it's it out loud. Part of the Quran I've ever read before. Yeah. Not the book of God. Now this is this is where the FBI starts paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. 130. Yeah, yeah. See, what we're saying to the FBI is that Turkish black tea, okay. <laughs> And pure ghee and turmeric is the cure to the poisoning of the water by big oil and by mining in the state. No, no, we said that. You know, we as Muslims, right, we are giving them a solution nonviolently. I don't think I'm a Muslim. You are not a Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> you are not a Muslim, right? We are converting America to making America smart again. <laughs> right? yeah. We are making America great again by making America smart again. Right, like chapter one, verse one. Yeah, yeah just the first chapter. The opening is better than in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Note, he said better than the Bible. You better believe it. Oh. <laughs> no, millennials like the Quran better than the Bible. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah. Punk religion. It's, yeah. it's punk religion. That's right. No, See, that's he has a, what is that right there? Black. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. I want you to. I want you to do some art on my car. Um, I will do some art on your car. <laughs> so, It'll probably end up looking like a penis, but yeah. it's fine. Just we know what to do. Like. Uh, in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, uh, all praise is due to God, the Lord of the universe, the beneficent, the merciful, the Lord of the day of judgment. You alone we worship, and to you alone we turn for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those you have blessed, not of those who have incurred your wrath, nor of those who have gone astray. I measure you count starting to go down. No, nope, it's no. actually going up. <laughs> <laughs> is it because it looks like a Nazi's reading the Quran right now? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Turn to like I'm gonna find one. that's like I love this. Is my favorite one. Take that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is the one about ass kicking, and it's not people that do it. It's like the thing is kind of like justice. You know, the the thing about it, as I see it, is like you know the earthquake, right? That's just ninety nine. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. When the earth is shaking with its violent shaking, when the earth shakes off her burdens, when man asks, what is happening to her? On that day, it will narrate its account. Its account, sorry, for your Lord has so directed it. On that day, people will come forward in separate groups to be shown their deeds. Whoever has done the smallest particle of good will see it, while whoever has done the smallest particle of evil will also see it. At the hands of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. The next one is, um, you know, greed 102. I'll kind of skip, but. Greed for more and more. I like, I mean, this one I kind of want to end on. I got to go up to White Earth, but we'll 
we can just kind of go from there. I'm going to kind of mark this page. 471, 470, that's really important. Um, Greed for more and more distracted you from God, Allah, till you reached the grave. But you will soon come to know. But you will soon come to know indeed. Were you to know the truth with certainty, you would see the fires of hell. You would see with the eyes of certainty, then on that day, you should be questioned about your worldly favors, Mr. Trump. Peace be upon you, big oil. You have no idea what you've done. You've created a new generation of millennials that love orange juice. <laughs> a new generation of millennials that, you know, that want to save the world with Turkish tea, ghee, this turmeric, saving metals from the problems. And I tell you, it's going to be that, you know, when they realize that big oil has put these things in the waters. And I think that the mining is going to be an issue. And more than anything, I think I'm excited about, you know, this idea of, you know, this wild Minnesota rice right here. And that is the water protector. The rice is the water protector. And we as humans are stewards of the water protector rice. And it's kind of like I'm coming this up in my seat of my pants. But the idea is the rice has genes that can actually bioremediate like heavy metals like arsenic or lead or mercury, like flint, you know, there's lead. Yeah, kale. I mean, cattails can do it. But then like, this is what this is for that. This is like a quick, you know, sort of solution for poisoning with metals of like humans, like quickly, um, which we've seen. But it's like, the main thing is I think with, with like you, like we want to basically look at the earth, like get Google SketchUp, Google Earth, M Google Maps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put just the information up there. play, you know, put it up there. And they did this with SafeCast with uh, Fukushima fallout. Art, you know, uranium in their rice. That's a kind of a mind trip. I mean, I think when you have like your food source has uranium in it. I mean, I'd look at the, maybe look in the rice field, see what they did up in Japan. I don't, I don't even know, yeah, but yeah. it's kind of deep, but. Like a rice everywhere, right? And, um, but this is the idea, you know, I think this is kind of like, all this is gifts to you, but nature fix. Why nature makes us happier, healthier, and more creative. <laughs> so, and uh, any words for your fan base or last words? <laughs> Read a book. Yeah. And uh, prepare for the art of the car. So just sketch it out. You tell me what you want to do and we'll do it. So, all right. Peace out.